Well, thank you for tuning into Chicago Prayer and Hope. We pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer. Because we're praying to the true and living God of the universe who hears the prayers and who answers them in his own perfect timing. Because his timing is perfect and his timing will always be perfect. Amen. Amen. And also we share the good news of Jesus Christ right out of this true and living word of God to bring salvation to you all if you believe by faith alone and repent of your sins. And if you do all that, it gives you, offers you the best gift of all that you can ever receive, which is eternal life of Jesus Christ forever. Amen. Amen. But brothers and sisters, say we got a good topic. We're going to be talking about giving to others because that's what we are called to do, brothers and sisters, believe it or not. So we're going to be talking about the importance of giving. We're going to be in Proverbs 11, verse 24. So if you have your Bibles, would you flip along to that verse with me? And as you're flipping there, I'm going to open us up in a brief photo prayer to our Heavenly Father, who is worthy of our praise in our prayers. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for who you are. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy, Lord. Would you set our hearts on you? Quiet our hearts. Teach us what you need. Want us to learn. We love you, Lord. Help us love you more. Amen. Proverbs 11, verse 24. Are you ready? One person who gives freely, yet gains even more. Another withholds unduly, but comes to poverty. I think it stops right there. Yes. Alright. What does this mean? Can we read this one more time? And as we read this, let's meditate on what this means to us. One person who gives freely, yet gains even more. Another withholds unduly, but comes to poverty. What does this mean, brothers and sisters? Another translation... If you guys want to know what this really means more easily, it says, One person gives freely, yet gains even more. Another withholds unduly, but, oh, but comes to poverty. What does this mean? Give freely and become more wealthy. Be stingy and lose everything. Brothers and sisters, we have a cho two choices it comes down to. We can give freely. And gain even more stuff because we are giving willingly and we have the mindset of giving. Or we can hold everything back and consider everything ours in the end and lose everything because we are holding on to everything so tightly. Which mindset would you rather be in? Would you rather lose everything because you're stingy and holding on to everything? Or would you rather... Be generous with the things that you have been given and you have received. Because everything comes from, from, comes from God in the end. And everything is God's. So which side are you going to be on? You choose. That's my encouragement for you today. Because, because we're called to give. We're called to serve people and give to others. That's my encouragement for you all. Let's be a generation that serves people and that gives to others. Gives freely. That we don't have to be forced into giving. That we'll just give from the kindness of our own hearts. That we'll just give. That's my encouragement for you all today. But brothers and sisters, if you never came to God before, I'm going to give you the chance to come to God right now by praying the simple prayer of salvation from, by believing in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Lord. This topic that I talked about today might be pretty difficult to hear. You may be like saying, giving? I just kind of disagree with that because I do consider if it's mine, it's mine. Well, it's not yours because it's God. It was it's God's first. God gave it to you, brothers and sisters. We're gonna get you on the first check for this time to become become easier. And here's what you do: you pray a simple prayer of faith by believing in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Repeat these words after me: Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you. Would you please come into my life, Lord? I cannot do this life without you anymore. You're the only hope I have. I repent of all my sins and I turn to you. Amen. Well, if you just pray this prayer for the first time with us, or we pray this prayer known as the prodigal, prodigal son, then I want to welcome you into the family of God, welcome you back into the family of God, because Scripture says when one walks in the family of God, or one walks back in heaven rejoices, and I rejoice along with you as well. And I've been praying for this moment, because this is truly the most important decision that you can ever, ever make with your life, is by placing your faith in Jesus Christ and accepting the work that he did for you on the cross. It's the most important decision that you can ever make. This world will tell you otherwise, but I'll tell you the truth. It's the most important decision. So if you just made this decision today for the first time, a week in life, I encourage you to reach out to me 
or to summon because we want to give you resources and next steps to take out the support and decisions that you made today. And also, we just want to be praying for you. We're not going to mock you. We don't want to pressure you. We just simply want to walk alongside you and let you know what's next and this important decision that you made today and be praying for you. Well, brothers and sisters, can I bless you all with the powerful living word of God? And then will you put your hands up to receive the blessing of the Jesus Christ promises over us? All right. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine in you. And may you never forget. If you give freely, you'll gain more. But if you hold it all back, you'll lose everything. Brothers and sisters, let's remember this. Let's remember the importance of giving and holding. Brothers and sisters, if you need prayer, feel free to reach out. Or if you just need to talk, feel free to reach out as well. If you were blessed by this video and feel like someone else needs to be blessed by it, would you please do me a favor, click on the share button and share this video with someone. We cannot do this life alone. We need encouragement from people. Have a blessed day, friends. Keep Christ number one. God bless you all. Peace.